How to Inspect a Heat Exchanger We at EquipNet highly encourage you to perform your due diligence and inspect any used heat exchanger that you are considering purchasing. First, confirm that what you saw online is what you see in person. Look at the nameplate to ensure that it reads the correct temperature range, pressures, capacity, square footage, serial number, national board number, and material of construction. Then, check the supply lines. What is the heating and cooling medium? Some service fluids will negatively affect the shell, especially if it's made of carbon steel. Then, closely inspect the equipment's exterior, looking for signs of corrosion or cracks in the heat exchanger's shell. If the unit has insulation, open up an inspection port, remove the insulation, and look inside for corrosion and scaling. Next, in order to ensure that there are no cracks in the tubing, you will need to perform a hydrostatic test. In this test, the shell cavity and tubing are flanged off and filled with water or air, and then the internal pressure is raised to one and a half times the working pressure. Perform the pressure test on the tube side first, then the shell side. This test should be done by a code shop if the unit is national board rated or by a professional. The heat exchanger should hold the water or air pressure for one hour, but if there is any leakage, you will see it almost immediately. If only one or two tubes are leaking, they may be plugged instead of repaired, which is both cost effective and won't lose you much square footage. Please let us know if you have any questions about this inspection process.